Habari Ghani and welcome to the second video on the second principle on the second day of Kwanzaa, which is Kuji Chagulia, which means self-determination. Habari Ghani means what's the news. So if somebody is to greet you and say Habari Ghani, you got to know what day it is, right? And so today's response will be Kuji Chagulia. So let's practice. I'm going to say Habari Ghani and then you say Kuji Chagulia. Good job. Good job. All right, so we got the same setup. If you saw day one, you already know what time it is with this whole situation that's going on right here. But I do have one red candle lit <laughs> for all of our principles. So today is Kuji Chagulia. And um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Tanya Poole. And I'm just sharing my seven favorite things about Kwanzaa or things that are meaningful to me about this amazing tradition, about this amazing celebration, right? So the definition of Kuji Chagulia is self-determination. And the official Kwanzaa website defines Kuji Chagulia as um, to define ourselves, name ourselves, create for ourselves, and speak for ourselves. So it is all about really claiming your own power. One of the things that I love about Kuji Chagulia, um, I was thinking about this and said, you know, Kuchi Chakuli is self-determination. It's like being determined to be yourself, to radiate, you know, your own light, you know, no matter who likes it or not, right? And it made me think about black hair. Yeah, I said it, black hair. I know mine is wrapped up right now, you can't see it, but I have had a myriad of hairstyles throughout the year and I know I mean throughout the years and this year and 2022 as well maybe I'll put some pictures in here of all different hair styles I've had this year but you know to my beautiful black sisters you know African African American from the Caribbean wherever we are in the world man our hair like people have really kind of tried to get on us about that right like uh, you can't wear your hair natural or um, why you got that weave in your head or um, uh, why do you have a relaxer? Why do you spend so much time at the salon? Why do you why does it take so long to to braid? Right. You know, it's like no matter what we do, it's, it's been criticisms about our hair when traditionally and some of us have actually started to believe it. Right. We started to believe like our hair is a frivolous thing, like it's like. Oh, why are we giving so much attention to that? There's so many more important things in the world, right? But our hair um, has always historically and in modern times been a reflection of ourselves. It's been a reflection of our culture. It's been a reflection of our heritage. It's been a reflection of our history. It's been a reflection of sometimes our religion. Like our hair is 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 like magic right <laughs> it's like it's literally like magic it's literally like magic and um and so when i think about kuji chagulia as it relates to you know our hair man i'm really trying not to cry right now because i'm thinking about how just you know growing up you ever you know um i, I remember as as a little girl going to um, whoever was braiding my hair at the time, whoever like some a neighborhood teenager, you know, teenager in the neighborhood or someone who was braiding my hair and they would create a design on the fly, right? It was like, okay, I'm gonna, you know, braid down this side, and I'm gonna loop it around, then I'm gonna braid down this way and, and I'm gonna put some beads on it. And you know, you could, I could move my head and hear the beads, right? And that was such, you know, as, as a black girl, and I know y'all shouting all my uh, beautiful black sisters out there, y'all right now, hopefully are feeling what I'm saying because there's nothing like when you got your hair done, you know what I mean? Can't nobody tell you nothing. And, and I know that for some people, or maybe even for a lot of us, we have, again, believed or trained ourselves to think that that's just a small or, or a frivolous thing, but our hair really has the power to transform our mood. Um, it, it 
on a metaphysical level, our, our hair is, is, is very much connected um, to the universe and just, you know, our crown, and, you know, if you practice different traditions, you know, the idea of your ori, you know, and, and your, the crown of your head or that crown chakra, right? It's such a, is a powerful thing. And that's why, you know, we spend so much time on our hair, even when we don't understand that that's really what's going on. It is us being self-determined. It is us demonstrating and exuding and living and, um, and just radiating our determination to be ourselves, right? Our hair tells stories. You know, I, I've seen brothers and, and sisters as well who maybe get their hair cut and will get like a name, you know, um, uh, cut into their, their hair or a symbol, you know, um, or you can look at someone's hair and tell what tribe they come from, what ethnic group they come from. You know, I can look at someone's hair and say, oh yeah, you, you're, you, you're from New York or, but you're from Jamaica or you're from uh, Mali or, you know, no, you're from Senegal, right? Because our hair tells the story of who we are. So let us not, even if we, even if we have like the a short, short, like we cut it all off or we're bald or we're just a super short cut, even that is an intentional decision to define ourselves, to practice Kuji Chagulia, even if we don't know that we are practicing Kuji Chagulia. So black people in this, in this wonderful planet earth, <laughs> wherever you are, you know, be bold in how you choose to wear your hair. Let it be a reflection of who you are. Let it be a reflection of your heritage, of your culture. You know, I, I remember seeing a video recently, I think it was of Fulani women, uh, how they would spend sometimes weeks working on one hairstyle and how it brought the community of women together because they're all working on each, each other's hair, you know, or the stories of how during the slave trade, many um, of the, the, the sisters who were put on those ships would put different grains or, or rice and things like that in underneath their braids to carry with them pieces of the continent into uh, the new world. So our hair is so, so, so powerful. There's been documentaries on our hair. There have been laws to give us the right to wear our hair how we want to wear it, right? It's crazy. <laughs> so um, never let anyone make you feel like something as simple as your hair is you just doing too much or you spending too much time on it. Um, actually, I would challenge you to research, to do the research on the history of, of black hair, you know, um, and, and even what different, what it means sometimes when you wear your hair in a certain style, you know, what it means about where you are in, in your, uh, womanhood or where you are in your manhood or where you are, um, just growing as a person, right? It's very, very deep. It's very, very deep, y'all. So that is my Kuji Chagulia um lesson or my favorite thing one of my favorite things i guess my favorite thing for 2021 right um that i was reflecting on um for kuji chagulia so yes that is it i will see you all tomorrow for the third principle which is ujima 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 all right so peace and love <laughs>